Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you an easy to use WordPress plugin that you can set up in under two minutes that will get you more clicks, more sales, and help you make more money. So let's go over to the software and take a look at it right now. So the first thing you're going to do is click on the click bar link on the left hand side of your WordPress admin area. This is going to bring you to the click bar welcome page. From this page you can view your existing bars by clicking on the my bars link or you can create a new bar. I'm going to go ahead and click on the create new button and create a new bar to show you how to do it. Once you click on the button it's going to create your bar with the default settings. The very first setting is the bar name and this is for your reference only. This is just so that you can remember what this click bar is for. You can change it to anything you want and I'm going to go ahead and just call it my test. The next option is going to be your bar color and this is the background color for your bar. So you can see the default is red and the preview is showing a red bar. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and just pick a different color with the color picker. And as you can see, as I pick a new color, it's going to adjust the preview so that way I can see exactly what my bar is going to look like as I'm creating it. It's going to ask you for the countdown date. Now this is the date that you want the countdown timer to count down to. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick a date in the future. I'm going to select August 19th. It's going to ask me for a countdown time. So that is the time on that date that I want the timer to count down to. The default is midnight, but I can pick any time that I want in one hour increments. So if I want it to count down until 10 a.m., I simply select 10 a.m. It's going to ask me to enter my bar text. Now this is the call to action text that's going to go on the left hand side of your countdown timer. And this text should be relevant to what you're using your countdown timer for. So for example, if I was using this for a bonus that I was offering for a promo that I was doing, I might enter something like bonus offer expires in and then it will put that text on the left hand side to let people know exactly what that timer means. And as you can see, it's going to update the preview as you type in your text. It's going to ask you for the bar text color. Sometimes, depending on the color of your bar, you might want a different bar text color so that way it stands out better. You can see I actually chose a slightly dark shade of blue, so the black really doesn't stand out that well, so I might want to pick a different color. And to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and select a new color from the color picker. It will update my preview so I can see exactly what it's going to look like. It's going to ask me for the bar texture. And that's just a little texture that goes over the bar color so that way it's not a solid color. So that way it kind of breaks it up a little bit and gives it a slightly more professional look. There are 10 textures that you can choose from. I'm just going to go ahead and pick one at random here. It's going to ask me for the bar position. And this is if I want my bar to show up on the top of the web page or on the bottom of the web page. The default is top, but I personally like to have the bars at the bottom of the web page. So I'm just going to go ahead and change this to bottom. It's going to ask me for my button text. And the button text is the text of this button right here. Now this is my action button. This is the button that I want people to click. This is what's going to redirect them over to my affiliate link or redirect them to my CPA offer or whatever I'm promoting. So I want to put a call to action inside of the button as my button text. And I'm just going to enter something really simple and really clear. I'm going to type in click here now. It's going to ask me for end text. And what end text is, is the text that shows once this timer reaches zero. So when the timer runs out, obviously you just don't want to have a timer that has all zeros because that doesn't look very professional. So what you can do is just enter some end text right in here and that will show in place of the timer when the timer reaches zero. So I'm just going to put in this offer has expired. The final option is going to be the redirect URL. Now this is the URL that you want people to redirect to when they click your call to action button. And as I said before, this generally is going to be an affiliate link or a link to a CPA page or something that's going to get you paid when they click on the link. I'm just going to enter my blog URL since this is just an example. Once I have everything set up the way I want, I'll simply click on the save and exit button.
It's then going to take you to the My Bars section where you can see a list of all your existing bars. Now you can see right here in the center it's going to have a short code. So what you do is grab this short code, copy it, go over to any page or post on your site. I'm going to just go to this one. This is just a demo site for testing. I will go ahead and paste in my short code inside of the text of the post. Now it doesn't matter where I put the short code. I can put it above the content. I can put it below the content. I can even put it in the middle of the content as long as I actually put the short code inside of the post itself. I'm just going to go ahead and put it up top there. I'm going to then update the post. And then let's go ahead and view it. And you can see I now have a clickable call to action bar with a countdown timer over my post. The final thing that I want to show you in this tutorial are these icons right here. If you click on these icons, it will bring up the stats for that particular bar. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this first one just to show you a demo. And you can see it's going to show you the total hits for that bar. Now that is the total number of times the bar has been displayed. And if the same person views the bar multiple times, it will count that as multiple hits. It's then going to show you the total clicks for the bar. That is the number of times somebody has clicked on the call to action button inside of your bar. It's then going to calculate your bar's conversion rate so that you can see how well your click bar is converting. The click bar WordPress plugin is available right now for the one-time price listed below this video. But just a fair warning, I can't guarantee that the price will be this low forever. So click the link below and pick up your copy of the click bar WordPress plugin right now. Mm -hmm.